I could stay like this forever following you. Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today we're going to do a full glam um, New Year's Eve or Christmas or just party glam, full glam, glittery, shimmery, whatever kind of um, makeup. So I don't have anything in in mind only that I want to use gold okay yeah so um, I do tend to be quiet and it is the first time I am talking to a camera in my room by myself so um, please excuse me I'm new to all of this um, but yeah let's get into it I do not know what colors I'm gonna use along with the um, the gold. I did want to go to Priceline to buy um, NYX has these like jumbo crayon um, eye pencils uh, crayons or whatever they're called. I did want to go grab one of them except I couldn't find it so I actually picked up the Rimmel London um, Fresh Skin um, foundation. It's new. I want to give it a go. I might um, do a full face and then throughout the day I've like recorded how they do, how I've washed it. Um, so I'll start off by putting a bit of lip service on. My pores are huge. Um, this one's by Napoleon. I know MAC has a lip conditioner that does just the same thing. It's as beautiful as this one. Uh, I only use this one because, I don't know, because I don't have the other one. And it's perfect to put on before your makeup as you would put on primer before your um, foundation. This is so nervous talking to a camera. You wouldn't think you'd get nervous talking to a camera. Seriously. What the hell? So I will be going in first of all with my Napoleon Purtis Auto Palette um, foundation, uh, pre-foundation skin primer. And I will be priming my whole face with that including my eyelids. On the side. This feels so good. It's got, I think it's got peppermint or something. Menthol. That's it. I found this human and kind um, skincare uh, anti wrinkle moisturizing eye cream. That's what it looks like. It says um, Nature's Botox. I've used it, it's thick, it's uh, just for around there. It is thick, it's beautiful, and I mean, it's I think it's 30 mils no, sorry, 50 mils. It's an anti aging cream. 50 mils and basically all I use this is even too much I pumped out too much all I use is that much literally smaller than a five cent piece and I just dab it with I could stay like this forever following you just don't get too far and I'll be so next I will go in, I'll be going in with um, foundation. I don't know what foundation I want to use yet. I'm going to go in with full coverage. I'm the Pauline Purta Stick Foundation in the look 3. This lasts all day. It's matte. It will stick to the skin like glue. It won't move. It won't smudge. It won't come off with sweat. Obviously when using it on a client I wouldn't put it on like this. But because it's for my personal use. This is my second tube using it, that's my old one. 
That's when you want that one's completely finished. I'll lie, I still have the jewel. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. Let's stay here Let's stay here Let's stay here I'll be going in with a little big baby beauty blender that I bought from Napoleon. I mean any beauty blender, any brush, any sponge will do the same thing. The only reason why I like these is because that it's tiny, it's got that little teardrop tip that can get in right into the corners of your eye. To wear my brush, I can either go wash it. What I like to do is I've got this clinic spray which is basically almost finished. So I just spray on it, squish it, spray on it a little bit more. And then once that gets a bit spongy, I can feel it like soaking it up. I start going in, dabbing. using my BH Cosmetics 126 brush. For my contour for the nose and my cheeks, um, I like to use, again, camera camera finish by Napoleon except this one's in the look N5 Topaz so it is very dark like very very dark um, but it blends perfectly because it is a powder foundation it's gonna blend like it's not gonna stick onto the skin or any dry patches so I'm going for a really dramatic look. So for the bronzer, I'm going with the L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze. So it looks like that. And because I don't like too much of a harsh bronze, even though I am a bit tan, like it doesn't show up on the camera because of the lights, but I'll just swerve it around as you can see, tap off my excess and go in where my contour would be, just slightly above. Now for me, I like to highlight before I use my blush. Um, only because I like the highlight to sort of like, unless I'm going for the really harsh look, I like the highlight to be a little bit subtle, visible but subtle. So for my highlight today, I will be using all three colors of the Sleek Highlighting Palette in the in Soul Dice. Soul, Soul Dice, yeah. So it comes with one cream shade and three powder, purple, pearl and gold. I. I think I will stick to these two down the bottom. So first of all, I will be going in with the pink shade, just dab it in like that. 
and you want to put this where your cheekbone is. You don't want to put it too harsh, but basically just pat it on like that. Even that's enough. Pat it on and then sweep upwards. Look at that. That's so beautiful. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. whether to use my um, Rimmel London Perfect Match Blush in the shade 003 Medium, that's what that looks like, or to go ahead with Napoleon Perder's uh, Blush Patrol, that one. I think I'm going to go for the Blush Patrol. So that's what it looks like. It's got like a marble sort of effect. And Anastasia Bebo Hills Tip Pomade um, in the shade Ebony. I tried dark brown but it turned out like purple for some reason. So let's give this a try. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't look good, because it will be my first time using it um, in a long time. So I'm going in with the Napoleon Purtis BR11. <laughs> all the time. I used to use the um, Maybelline eyebrow um, mascara or something like that but I found this and the Chi Chi also came out with a fiber brow. I'm in the shade medium brown. That's what it looks like and I'll show you the applicator in a sec. So the applicator looks like that. Shades which I have not even touched and because I had no time to. For my base, I'm going with the first shade over here only because it's the closest thing to my skin and I just want everything to blend nicely. transition shade in the Shan XO palette we have this orange shade right here and I'll be using that in my crease Underneath that the um, orange color, I want to go in with the burgundy red color over here. This will again warm the look up a lot more.
from the Zoeva Rose Golden Palette. I want to go in with that very last shade there, which is called Wonderful. And with a blending brush, just dab it. And maybe a bit of the rusty petals as well. That looks really pretty. Dab the excess off. shade and I will go in with a gold shimmer over the top then put a white in the middle I'm going to get in with golden rule from the Zoeva Rose Golden Palette so just dabbing that onto there hacking it on <laughs> shade that I've got on I was thinking of going in with some loose dust gold reflecting loose dust and I chose to go with the Napoleon Curtis loose eye dust in the shade honey child now it's got gold reflex to it it does look copper trust me it's gone mm -hmm. basically it's in there chosen to use is I, I use two so one for the top lashes one for the bottom lashes for the top lashes I like to go in with a full thick wand which looks like that and this one is by Smashbox full exposure mascara and now for my lashes I'm going to be using Floaty lashes in the style Aisha. So pretty. Just for you to 
things for that. I will put on my lippies. Yeah, for the lips, I want to go with something red. And I've chosen to go with the Napoleon Purders Rocco Red um, Lip Liner. It's true red. Like I said, I use two different types of um, mascaras. A thicker wand for the top and a really thin wand for the bottom. That's what it is. And we'll go in. Let's stay here. Let's stay here. In love. And I've chosen to use Chi Chi Creamy Matte Liquid Lipstick in Viva La Diva. That's what it looks like. It's my first time using it, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. The applicator is very big, very long, so I guess that's easier to get into the corner. 